Warning, the following series contains strong language and sexual references. If you are not mature enough to appreciate this game, then please navigate away from this video now. Hey guys, welcome back to Fuckymon. This is episode 20, and we're taking this warp panel. Around here, we have a mandatory fight against a Team Suck It guy who doesn't want us to move a fucking muscle. And I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like the audio kind of cut out when I went out of this floor. Maybe because, uh, like just to get a suspenseful feeling, or maybe there wasn't any music program for this floor. Anyway, this is True Boner. I actually ran into one inside Fuckymon Tower, but I didn't bother trying to catch it. Just because I'd already decided I'm cutting the battle out because I did it off screen. So, I've ran into a few Pokemon like that off screen that I haven't bothered to catch. I still don't know for sure if I'm going to try to complete the Fucky Debts in this game, but if I do, I'll go back and catch more stuff off screen. And then probably do like rare candy cheats to uh, get it. Uh, get my Fucky Dets complete. Anyway, we're just finishing off all of these guys with Dig. Dig is overpowered. I've mentioned this, but it's 100 power in this game. It got a, a significantly, uh, significant, uh, nerf in later games. It's now only 60 power, I believe. So, Dig in this game is as strong as Earthquake, it just takes two turns. Did the music not cut out? I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna go back onto this floor. Is the music going to cut out on us? Okay, I really was just hearing things. All right, so, very tough battle up ahead. We need the card key here, and as soon as we walk in, ah, cunt, you never give up, you little fuckhead. Anyways, I once more will kick your ass. Once more, I think we kicked your ass last time. Even if he doesn't win, I guess? Once again, we shall face Giovanni. So it's like, I don't care if you win, I'm still gonna come back and kick your ass. Maybe in real life. Reminds me of like the final uh, episode of Sword Art Online, no spoilers, but how the guy comes back and, well, tries to kick his ass in real life. Anyway, he starts off with a Nidoriho, which dies really easily to dig because it's poison type. Then he has Kangaskunt and this thing is a boss. Level 35. This guy's actually weaker than Shitbag? I thought Shitbag was a lower level than this guy, but I guess not. Dig dig quite a bit. Um, then Rage. Powerful, plus it gets the attack boost. Who am I kidding? Rage isn't powerful. Who uses Rage? Seriously, it's 20 power. I mean, seriously, the only time a rage has ever been useful is if you pick a totodile for, uh, um, in crystal or in something like that, and you use rage to beat, uh, the Pidgeotos or something that Faulkner has. Anyway, Rhyhorn, this isn't even fair for him because he's going up against Vaporeon. Yeah, not even a fight here. I left so much suspense between last episode and this, and we get like a really easy fight. Final Pokemon is Nidoqueen, Nidoqueer, level 41, and I'm just gonna try an Ice Beam on this, because he's wasting time with Guard Spec. What does Guard Spec do, actually? Does it prevent stats from being lowered, I think? I don't know. I was thinking it prevented status conditions, but no, it's stats being lowered. And we'll finish it off. Seriously, the best thing it can do to us is Poison Sting. The AI in these games didn't seem to care about the strength of moves, just the types. So it seems like um, you can literally beat some Pokemon with like level 2s if they're the right type, because they'll always try to use moves that do nothing to you. Damn, Team Suck It! Team Rocket was this bad too. So he disbanded Team Rocket and got Team Suck It instead. Ah, so I see. He's gonna go away once again. This is actually a PC, which is interesting why they'd have a PC up here. 
But there is one reason. Hey, want to come over to my house for Sucky? Man, everybody, everybody wants Sucky. What about you? Thank you for saving shit. I thought it was the end for us, but you came. And you came and kicked their asses. Thank you, I'll never forget you on fucking up Team Suck It. And we get a Masturbate Ball. And we can't buy it anywhere. It's the Masturbate, it catches any Pokemon without fail. So literally, um, if we use this thing, we don't have to worry about it not catching something. It will catch literally everything. Now we actually have to navigate our way to the bottom of here because I don't think you can dig out of here. I could try, but even so, I don't want to dig out of here because there are some items we can get on the way down. There's one in particular I know of, and for that one we have to go down to the third floor. I don't know what the third floor looks like, but I guess we'll use the card key here. See if there's anything else hidden. Yep. Here we have TM03. Um, I believe that's Sword Stance, so that could come in handy later. Um, where are we? This is fifth floor. Fourth floor. Third floor. And talking to this girl in here will give you the TM for self destruct. I think you can only get it afterwards. It makes your Pokemon blow up. Be careful of flying blood. That's interesting. So now that uh, we've finished uh, Team Suckets part in uh, Shitco, I believe that's actually the last we have to deal with Team Sucket all game. I could be wrong though. As you see, they're now out of town completely, which means we can go take on the gym now. The overpowered gym. More overpowered than any gym. Now we actually have people outside that are different. It was only uh, Team Suck at people outside. But some of these people just look awkward, I'm just saying. You're... Uh, you walked on a bush, and then you walked off the bush. What are you doing? You don't have anything important to say either. Okay, so we'll be taking on the uh, most overpowered gym in the history of the game, and we're probably just going to use Sand Splash through the whole thing. This is the uh, Psychic-type gym, Sabrina, and oh boy, Psychic is overpowered in this generation. So we're here at the gym, and as before, there are the teleporters. I think the easy way to do this is you literally go directly across every time. Being careful to avoid the trainers. And if you go directly across every time... Yeah, I think we have to fight one of them. We'll eventually get to Sabrina without having to fight any of these guys, even though they'd be good training. Channelers. So are they going to use ghost types? Yeah, this is a Psychic-type gym, but they're using ghosts. I mean, no big deal, because these are even easier to take out than Psychic-types. Also, uh, yeah, we're not really supposed to be taking on this gym yet, at this point in the game, because... Just look at the levels in here. Level 34? I mean, you thought Shitco was hard. This is even harder, in terms of just Psychic being overpowered on everything. But why are we even... Talking about Psychic types when we're fighting ghost type trainers in the Psychic Gym, it's like they don't even keep true to their type. Okay, so, keeping going across, we will eventually reach the gym later. There's a faster way through here, but this is the fail safe method, I believe. You'll end up going in every room and fighting every trainer as well. Are we even making any progress? Yep, there we go. So this is Sabrina, and really I don't think anyone's going to be useful except Sand Slash, so we'll just start. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting types, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. You know, I don't think her text was changed at all. 
This is Sabrina. Gen 1 Sabrina with the whip. Just awesome. But the levels might make this fight a little difficult. Also, our cadavers and stuff are fast, and Psychic is going to do a literal fuck ton of damage to me. Because Sand Slash, well, it doesn't have the best special defense either. But Dig, pretty much guaranteed to take it out. We will have trouble with Alakazam. Her next Pokemon is Pimp Mime, Mr. Mime. Faster than us, barrier will, barrier will raise its defense, so it's probably a better idea to use Slash. And hopefully we can take it out before it tries to use Reflect. Okay, it doesn't even try to use Reflect. Hopefully we survive this, yes we do, and Slash will break through its defense boosts with the critical. Then she has Venomoth, and I'm actually going to take this opportunity to switch and heal. Venom cloth. Hmm. Okay, so um, we're going to use a uh, hyper joint on Sand Splash because we gotta get him at full health because it's gotta take a psychic from Alakazam, and that's probably not gonna end too well. Hopefully, we can take it. That's a critical. And it's gonna poison us instead of probably trying to kill us, so we'll just fart on it really quick. It's gonna take a while to kill, because, I mean, we're like nine levels lower and we're having to use Ember on a Venomoth. Why can't Charizard get a better move? When it learns Flamethrower, it'll be the happiest day of my life. Um, I guess we'll go to uh, Jolteon. I mean, just wanna take out this guy with somebody else, so we have... Uh, so we have Sand Slash at full health for Alakazam. And actually a bug type move. So Sabrina's using a bug poison type. I forgot Leech Life too when I mentioned last episode about the Psychic types. Leech Life and Twin Needle are the only bug type attacks in this game, I believe. And here's her Alakazam. Sand Slash is going to be three levels lower if it can take a Psychic, I'm feeling kind of confident. Oh, Reflect. Okay, so... This is gonna do a lot. I don't know why it's using Psy Wave. Psy Wave is absolutely terrible. And even after Reflect, we should take it out with a single dig, no critical. Okay, much easier than I thought here. <laughs> Sabrina goes down. She didn't work hard enough to win. We get the Marsh Badge. Makes Fuckymon up to level 70, obey us. Don't raise our Fuckymon too much. And our bag is full, so we can't get the TM she gives us. Um, I don't think we'll ever need the card key again, but I think instead we'll give, uh... We'll just use some of these items to pick up the TM. What do you have? TM 46, is that... Psywave is a TM. Why? Why is Psywave a TM? Psywave is terrible. Now we gotta find our way out of here, which is significantly harder, and you can't dig out of gyms either. Okay, fail safe method to get out of here. Just always go across from where you are, and you'll get out regardless, just like how we got in. So we beat Sabrina, no big deal, easier than I expected, but we're gonna need to train up the rest of our team members, so might do some grinding off screen, or I might just, uh, stop, not, not stop, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, I might just go ahead and do some routes on screen, and just fight a ton of trainers, but the only place we can still go is Celadon. And there wasn't a gym there, so... Um, actually, I'm going to head back to Celadon really quick and see if I can find the gym before we end this episode off. Because... Well, to be fair, if we can't... Wait, that gambler's laying down. Well, he was. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, but I'm gonna go back to Celadon. 
Because if we can't find the gym, then there's really no point in playing on because we won't be able to beat all the gyms. So, um, I suppose we could use the item finder in here to find the hidden items. Now, I'm going to say this one right there. No. But the item finder sucks in this gen anyway. I don't think it actually points out where the items are at all. Okay, so... Where is the Celadon City Gym? I mean, I've explored this entire town about as much as you can. So, the only logical place the gym could be is somewhere we haven't gone yet, which might mean uh, another out-of-city gym, which would require going to the west here. Could possibly be a gym up here, I think. Well, look, there is another Snorlax in the way. But let's see. Could there be an out-of-city gym? Yes, there is. That is the answer. Hmm. That's odd. Okay, so this is the uh, fly house. I don't know if we can use it yet. And we don't have any room for the HM for fly. So I'll use a protein. Um, I guess Hip and Lee could use more attack. There we go. HM for fly. Now we can fly anywhere. I actually don't know if we can. But this is the out of city bar number two. This is Celadon. In the next episode, we'll be taking on the Cracker City Celadon City Gym and getting our fifth badge. So, um, see you guys next time.